I'm Stan Ellsworth. You might have heard me talking about history on American Ride. But today, I want to talk about the United States Constitution, how it came to be, why it came to be, and what makes the United States Constitution a revolutionary document even today. So throttle up, baby. Let's hear the story. In the summer of 1776, it seemed like things in the American Revolution were going our way. The British had quit Boston. Now, General Washington was positive they were coming back, and coming back with a big chip on their shoulder. But the fellows in Congress thought this is the time to make a statement, and that statement was American independence. The guy that really got the ball rolling was Richard Henry Lee of Virginia. On June the 7th, 1776, Lee stood before the Second Continental Congress and said, Resolved that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states, absolved of all allegiance to the British crown. There were some that celebrated, some that were troubled, some that thought it was treasonous. Ultimately, we decided we better write a declaration to put the reasons for our separation from Great Britain before the world in terms so plain and powerful that they command assent. Everyone would agree. We chose a committee of five to write the document. There was Roger Sherman of Connecticut, Robert Livingston of New York, Benjamin Franklin of Pennsylvania, the ubiquitous John Adams of Massachusetts, and Thomas Jefferson of Virginia. Adams and Jefferson would debate who should write the document. Adams won the discussion. He explained to Jefferson that it was his responsibility. He was from Virginia and a Virginian should be at the head of the business. Jefferson was widely popular and Jefferson wrote 10 times better than any man in Congress, including Adams. Jefferson finally capitulated and agreed. And he said, when I finished, let us have a meeting. On June the 28th, the Committee of Five put before the Second Continental Congress the Declaration of American Independence, and it contained perhaps one of the greatest paragraphs ever written in any language. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men, meaning all people, are created equal, and that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive of those ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. These were revolutionary ideas, equality, unalienable rights, and that government was the servant of the people. The debate lasted for four days, but finally, the Declaration of Independence was unanimously approved, and on July the 4th, 1776, the United States of America became a free and independent nation. We'll see you next time when we talk about the end of the Revolutionary War and the beginning of a new form of government. Subscribe now. It's history with attitude and the American story with an edge.